Welcome to the Grand and Toy website. This tutorial will show you how you can easily and quickly order rubber stamps and engraved signs and badges. I'm going to start with a self-inking stamp. And as you can see, I simply click on the self-inking stamp category, and then I can choose my stamp. I'm clearly shown the size of the stamp. And when I'm satisfied with what I'm going to choose, I simply click on the Customize button. Once I click the Customize button, it will bring me to the screen where I can enter the lines of text for my stamp. I can add as many custom lines of text as are displayed in boxes. For each line, I can choose the size of the font and the font that this line of text will be displayed in. I can also choose what the color of the stamp will be, and in this case I'll choose red. And then I can click on the preview button, and when I click the preview button, I will be shown what the stamp looks like in color. Now one of the other things that I can do is I can add a graphic to my stamp. In this case, what I would like to do is add my signature. So I click Browse, I view my own computer, and choose my logo file. The logo must be a JPEG or a GIF file, and should be 600 dpi at minimum. Now as you can see, I'm justifying the image to the left, which means it's going to be here. I can click on the preview, and it will show me what the stamp will look like along with the logo. Now, the other thing that I can do is make this logo, in this case is my signature, and I really wanted a signature stamp that was nothing but my signature. So I will set the logo, the image, to be the background, which means it's going to take up the entire stamp area. The system will automatically size it to fit, and I'm going to remove the lines of text. The other thing I'm going to do is I think I'd rather see this in black ink. So I will again click Preview. I've eliminated the text. I've told the system that I want the image to be the background, meaning taking up the whole stamp. And sure enough, it fills the stamp. Now, the other thing that I can do, certainly, once I've done that and I'm satisfied, is Add to Cart. That will take my stamp and place it into the shopping cart for checkout. Now, the other thing that I might want to do is to buy a stamp in a slightly different manner. I'm going to go back to home. And in this case, maybe I don't know that I want a self-inking stamp or I don't know what size it should be. So I'm going to go to the Stamp Design Wizard and I can click on the left navigation or on the main navigation. The Stamp Design Wizard allows me to go straight to designing my stamp. And I'm going to put in again three lines of text. Now, with the Design Wizard, if I decided to view, I click Preview. Well, let me just change the size. And again, I'll go with a brush script this time, I think. Once I preview, this time the system will show me the stamp just as it will be, again in color. But if I decided that I really wanted four lines, I can simply change the number of lines of text right here. The screen will refresh, and now what you'll see is that I actually have four lines of text instead of three. And I think maybe I will uh, view this stamp and uh, purple this time. Once I'm satisfied with my stamp, I click Continue. Now the system will go out and find for me the mounts, the rubber stamp mounts that fit. So in this particular case, there are two mounts that fit. We have the standard and we have the best. So I think I would like to choose the best stamp. And again, the pricing is indicated. I have the chance to add it to my cart. And once I've done that, I'm ready to check out. And again, the system reminds me of what I have placed in the account. To check out, I'll simply click on check out and follow the prompts. I hope this has been very helpful. Thank you for shopping. On